Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Laskowitz and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the new action in Power Automate UI flows to trigger Win Automation processes. In a previous video I already showed you how you can do that, but there is a new action around and that new action saves a lot of time and a lot of hassle. So before you had to create a UI flow where you would open up a command prompt in a machine and then you wanted to run a command there and then it would trigger a win automation process. The Power Automate team made it really easy. Um, they created another action which we can use in the UI flow creation process. And what we have there is of course the trigger, start a UI flow, and below that we can still add the recorder in there, but we can also add the win automation process or the start win automation process action. So today I'm gonna to show you how that works and how easy it works. So let's move to my desktop and show you how it's been done. Here we are on the Power Automate website in the My Flows part and on UI Flows. But before we are gonna create the UI flow, we're gonna use, I'm gonna to go to the Win Automation environment to show you which process we're gonna automate. And you might remember this from the earlier video I did about input forms. So this was one of the RPA challenges. And actually nothing has changed except two things. And that's the first two actions. So I have two actions in there, get command line arguments, and I'm gonna store those into command line arguments. And then I'm gonna use the set variable action to actually get the first command line argument and I'm gonna uh, enter that into the, uh, into the set variable and that's gonna be the variable name imp name, so input name. And the rest is actually almost the same except one thing and that's the display name. So I have the same thing here and I added well done imp name. So I wanted to show you that we also can put some inputs in there so when we trigger a win automation process from UI flows, you can add uh, some inputs in there. Uh, I only use one, but you can do multiple of those and you can get them by using this set variable action or first the get command line arguments action. And then um, you can select the arguments by using this syntax. So, you have the brackets around there and zero stands for the first command line argument. So if you have multiple strings in there, you can have um, input one, input two, input three. So input one would be zero, input two would be one, and input three would be th uh, two, sorry. So that's the way how you can uh, get the multiple command line arguments and store them into a variable. So I'm not going to try uh, try uh, running this from WinAutomation because that would fail now because I don't have any arguments in here. Um, so for that matter, we're going back to the browser and in here we are at the UI flows. So how can you create a UI flow with um, an action that goes to WinAutomation? Let's select new. Select desktop app, go to the next screen and let's call this uh, win automation input forms. I missed one letter there. So let's move to the next. And here we have the normal input field. Recently, uh, also the sensitive text has been added, um, but for now, we're just gonna use the text one and I'm gonna call this name and I'm gonna use uh, first name as my sample data and I'm gonna add a description 
add a name and select next. So this is something you might remember from the, uh, the other video I had. Uh, in this case, we're not gonna record one because we already have the win automation process, of course. So for now, we're gonna delete this one. And when we delete this, we can add a new step. We can actually do that also when it's already there. But um, for now, I'm gonna delete this because I don't want the recorder in there. So let's add win automation here and let's add the action run win automation preview, run my win automation process. So let's select that one. And here we can add the process, process path. And you can see here that there's already an example. So there's slash my space processes slash new space process. So let's go back to win automation and go to the folder structure here. You can see we have my processes here. So let's switch back slash my processes slash and let's see the RPA challenges. So RPA challenges and then I believe it's something with zero one, zero one space. Okay, input forms. So yeah, that's correct. So now I only have the process path and if you can um, go back and let me cut this, you can see that it ends with no space. It's just the name of the process that's the end. So um, we have multiple folders and then we have uh, the process itself. And then here we have the command line arguments. So in here I can add quotes for instance and put a name in here, which is actually one of the properties. And um, oh, I just add an expression, but we can also do this with um, the dynamic content field here. I still need to get used to the, to the new uh, designer here. So I use uh, quotes around this uh, because um, some people can add multiple names in here. So for instance, if you have a double name like um, uh, Jean-Pierre or something like that, or uh, Jean-Paul in Dutch, um, there's a, um, there could be a space in between. And if you have a space in between, then it will fail if you only would put uh, the input here. Uh, so let's put quotes around there to make absolutely sure that our process is not gonna fail. When I select show advanced options, I can also use the wait after action, just like the other parts in the UI flow tooling. Um, but for now, we're not gonna use that. So let's click save and next, next, and I'm not gonna test this one out. So let's save and exit. So we have the win uh, automation input forms UI flow here now. And next we of course want to uh, make sure that we can trigger the UI flow from another flow. So we already have a flow here. So let's edit this. And I have a manually trigger a flow and we have a run a UI flow for desktop uh, action here. And I can add the UI flow. I can select the UI flow here or create a new UI flow. I'm gonna select it here. And now we can see the run mode. Um, we can say unattended or attended. In this case, we're gonna do attended. And then I can use the name. So, um, for instance, the manually trigger a flow action, uh, when you do that, you already get a lot of dynamic uh, content in here. So you get the username, user email, all kinds of things. So in this case, I'm gonna use the user name in here. And my name is Daniel Space Laskowitz. So we can immediately um, see that uh, my flow or my win automation process will not fail in there. So let's select save here. 
I already, and that's something uh, you really should realize, I already added the connection. I installed the gateway in there. Uh, and also one other thing that you really need to uh, be aware of, you really need the latest software. Uh, so you need to go to the Win Automation website and get the latest client from there. You need to go uh, to the UI flows um, or the Power Automate website and get the latest UI flow package. Uh, and make sure that you have those because otherwise it will not work. Yesterday evening I was trying this and I found out that um, I got a little message that said, well, you need uh, a certain version of Win Automation to use this. Uh, so uh, it failed a lot and uh, that's why I upgraded my Win Automation uh, installation. I just downloaded the uh, installation files and I ran it on my machine and it worked uh, after that. So make sure you get the latest and greatest from uh, both UI flows and Win Automation. So now let's uh, test this out and select test here. I'll perform the trigger action and let's select run flow. Now I won't touch my mouse anymore because I'm actually waiting until the process will start. And here it already is running. You can see it in the bottom right corner. It launched Chrome. It already uh, used Excel, for instance. It's um, also gonna show me uh, the uh, notification here. So I can see a pop-up and I can also see, well done, Daniel Laskowitz. So this is um, a lot faster than uh, what it was before. Uh, before it took way longer to trigger the win automation uh, process because of course um, we needed to run the normal UI desktop uh, UI flow desktop version and then we needed to open the command line prompt we needed to add text in there uh, press enter for instance and then um, it would start the win automation uh, process and now it's actually way easier because it directly triggers the win automation process. So in short, this was uh, my video and I think this is a great addition to the um, Power Automate UI flows and win automation proposition. I think a lot of people will be really happy with this. And I think that um, a lot of people can do great stuff with this. So make sure to test this out yourself and I hope this was very useful. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you at the next video.